Hello everybody and welcome back to another unboxing. So today we're going to be doing Birchbox which is a subscription box which I am signed up to currently for 12 months. I think it ends in August. Um, I signed up through a friend deal where you get a certain amount of money off. I'm not entirely sure how much it was but it was a decent amount of money off. So there are a lot of ways you can subscribe with Birchbox. I think it's been going for quite a while so it's kind of um it's sort of evolved a little bit in its subscription um plans so you can either pay a monthly rolling price of 13.95 which you can cancel at any time or you can tie into a three month period which is either i'm gonna need my glasses for this everyone because it's numbers i can't do numbers so you can tie into the three month period, which is either £38.85 every three months, or you can pay on a month by month basis um, at £12.95 per month. A six month subscription is either £74.75 every six months or £12.45 per month, or a 12 month subscription is either £145.40 or a monthly cost of £12.12. .12. Delivery charges are included in all of those prices, but you are tied in for those periods and they will automatically renew unless you actually do cancel. Um, and it shows you how to do this on the website. So there are often sign up deals and it's worth looking around for those. There's currently one that they've um, put on their website, which is £20 off, 20% sorry, off a subscription uh, using the code MAY20. Um, but there are a few terms and conditions that you might need to check um, and I think it's only until the 19th of May. So with Birchbox what they tend to do is they tend to do more sample or travel sizes. They're a bit try before you buy so it's quite kind of small sizes. You do get some full sizes. Uh, they do put prices up but they tend to relate to the full size version so you have to kind of translate that into what size you've got which I have tried to do and I'll do that as we go along. So um, you also, when you subscribe, you do get a profile you can fill in because not everybody gets the same thing. Um, you get the odd thing that's, that's the same and then they will show you what the other options are, I think, on their website and what you could get. These are the things you could get sort of thing. Um, and they, I think they're, te they're meant to tailor it more to what you've put in your profile. Um, I've never really checked that out and I don't really know how you would but you know it's kind of like one of those boxes some months it's amazing and it's really good and it suits you down to the ground and other months it's not quite there um, so it's one of those boxes again that I'm going to have to think quite hard about whether do I resubscribe or do I just do it on a month by month basis I haven't made a decision there yet um, so this is the box I think I've got it upside down. This is the box. Um, inside you do get a little leaflet with them, which I always quite like. And then the things are in under the leaflet. So I've sort of translated, transferred the leaflet onto my laptop so it's easier for me to see uh, because the writing is very, very small. So the theme for this month is skin vestment. And it's meant to be giving your skin lots of attention, pampering um, and sorting your skin out. So we'll see as we go whether that's the case. Sometimes the themes are a little bit dubious, shall we say. Um, but there are a couple of things in here that are definitely aimed at looking after your skin. So I think they've, they've kind of hit the nail on the head there. So the first product this month is this and it's the glove. This is the Pink Moon Pad Pro. It's a full size at £4.90. Um, now each month you do get to sort of choose something on a product whether it's um, a type of product or um, with this it was you chose the colour it came in so I chose pink because I'm sort of feeling pink at the moment so um, that's why I'm, I think there's another colour that's going to be in other boxes I can't remember which colour that was though uh, so the leaflet says become more environmentally friendly with your skincare routine thanks to these reusable bamboo cotton pads. Remove makeup only using water or add your favourite makeup remover to the mix for some additional hydration. It also says that this will not absorb any makeup remover so a little goes a long way and it mentions to wash the pad before reusing so presume that just means under the tap with maybe a little bit of soap or something like that and then of course you can put them in the washing machine um, every now and then just to give them a proper wash 
So this is how it looks. So it's quite cute. I think you slip your hand in there and then use it either to remove makeup. I mean, I tend to use bigger sort of flannel based ones to remove my makeup. And then these little ones I tend to use more for maybe eye makeup remover or um, toner or something like that. So it's very useful to have. Um, I've got a few of them. I quite like these as well. Handy little things to keep them in, in the back room. Okay, that's the first product. So that's quite nice. The second product is Dr. Pawpaw Shea Butter Balm, 25 mils. So Birchbox says that this is worth £9.25. But I think you can get, it's quite a reasonable size that is. You can get smaller versions um, that I have seen online so this is an all-purpose balm which uses its trademark papaya fruit to soothe and hydrate any irritated skin with some extra nourishing benefits from aloe vera and shea butter simply apply onto lips hands cuticles elbows or anywhere that needs some extra help and it says it also provides relief from insect bites and minor abrasions which is quite useful to have actually um so have a little look at it uh yeah, it is sealed. Um, I am going to open it though because I didn't know you could use things like this for insect bites and that's one of the things I really suffer from in the summer so it probably will get used. There you go. Uh, put it on my hand. Oh, it's not coming out. There we go. Yeah, it's a nice thick one. Very thick. Vaseline type texture. It smells of sort of a bit, yeah, a bit coconutty. Was there coconut in there? I can't remember. Um, aloe vera and shea butter. It smells coconutty to me. It's, it's thick and, you know, the texture you expect it's going to be, to be quite honest with you. Sometimes I actually use these on my feet because I get quite a few of these in beauty boxes or similar things. And I use them on my feet just to soften them up um, under socks. Uh, and they, they don't really do anything about it except just soften, which is quite a nice thing to have. So that's probably where that one's going. Um, the next one now, I'm quite interested and excited about this particular one. So let's get the right way around, I hope. So this is the Adaptology Hydro Pump Booster. It's 10 mils and it's a travel size and it is worth, I think you can actually get this for £24 in this size, I think. So this water-based adaptogen gel not only utilises hyaluronic acid to deeply hydrate skin, but also pumps up dehydration lines, boosts cell meta metabolism, lightens dark spots and brightens your complexion. So it says gently press into your skin after cleansing and toning, use on your face, neck, decotage, you can also add it to your moisturiser. So this sounds quite a nice uh, product to try out. So I haven't actually had a look at it yet. Oh look, there's like a little clippy thing comes off. That's unusual, I quite like that. Uh, let's have a go. Oh, I've got like a very shiny hand now. So let's try it out anyway. If you can, I haven't used it yet, so that's always a worry. But yes, there we go. I don't know if you can see it's like a jet. Oh, it's quite runny. Let's have a go. It's not really going to work now because I've put that balm on. But oh no, it's kind of going in. It's actually very, very silky, very silky smooth. Oh, it's a very nice texture. I can't smell it. I don't think it's got a smell actually. I'm just going to try it on my arm because it just gives it a little bit more. There is a bit of a smell to it, not much faint. Um, feels really nice. It's gone in really lovely, actually. It's not nice and gentle on the skin. It doesn't feel too oily or anything like that. So, yeah, I'm going to look forward to using that. It sounds like it's a, um, a really good product to try. And I do like trying out new sort of serum type things. So the next one is this one here. And it's Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Repairing Conditioner. This is 50 mils. Uh, so if you bought a 250 ml version, it would be £4.50. So this presumably is only about a pound's worth of product. Um, I don't know really. I don't know whether you can get it this size. I couldn't see it. 
So it says give dry or damaged strands a hydration wake up and incredible shine with this repairing conditioner. The formula deeply hydrates hair with a fusion of ethical and sustainable coconut oil and Tahitian monoi plus it smells amazing. The creamy rich formula instantly detangles and coats strands for silkier, shinier, easier to manage hair. And basically you use it as you would a normal conditioner after shampooing and leave it in for three to five minutes it says so it's you know one that you uh, leave in a little bit longer than some of them. So I am going to try it out because I always use hair products quite quickly. Let's see. Oh yes it's a proper, it, I mean I've had products uh, from this company before and they obviously do smell coconut ones at least of uh, coconut. I don't know why I'm rubbing into my skin when it's for the hair. No, I don't know why. Actually, it feels quite nice on the skin. So <laughs> could make it into a body cream, maybe. I think I was getting confused because the last thing I used, I got from them was a um, body cream or body lotion. So that's probably why. So sorry about that. Just a moment of uh, strangeness. But it does allow me to smell it. And it's definitely, definitely coconutty. And it'll be lovely in my hair. And what a summery smell as well. So I will get through that. I mean, it's a very small size. Probably four washes, maybe, maybe five. I don't know. Um, the next one I am quite excited about. Now, it seems quite a strange thing to be excited about. But I love things like this. So it's the Corys. I think that's the right way round. I'm not holding things very well today for some reason. The Corys Santorini Grape Body Cleanser. It's 40 ml. Now, if it was 250 ml, it would be 14 pounds. So I guess this is around two to three pounds, not entirely sure. So it says this skin transformation treatment comes straight from the fountain of youth. Not only does it look lock in rich hydration, but it also promotes skin radiance with its ultra soft foaming formula. Simply massage it into your skin to maintain moisture levels for a naturally healthy looking complexion. So I've had the, um, I'm going to have a look at this just to see, just to see if it is the same sort of thing. Yeah, renewing body cleanser. So I've had the Guava renewing body cleanser in a previous OK Beauty box. Um, and I loved it. I loved it. Not only did it smell amazing, it lathered up really, really well. Um, it was the same sort of size as this, I think. You didn't need much of it to make a really good lather as well. And it um, it did last about four, four showers, which is quite good for sort of that product. Maybe even five, probably four. Um, so I'm quite excited about this to see if it's going to be as good as the other one. So let's have a sniff. It does smell nice. It doesn't smell quite as nice as the other one, but it does smell nice. It's It's got a hint of jelly tots about it. It smells of jelly tots, okay? The lime ones for some reason, um, which were my least favourite, to be fair. That's probably why I'm not that excited. But anyway, it smells okay. It promises lovely things. I, I, to be honest with you, with body cleansers and things like that, very rare that I can see anything from come back from them that makes my skin look great with uh, obviously ones that exfoliate then yes you get the softening so you know it might do something who knows um so let's have a little think about the box now this box I probably I think I, it doesn't cost me that much a month um well, I'm just going to pause one moment there's some activity downstairs I used that moment actually just to check how much I do pay for this box. So I did get it a 30% discount for a year. And at the time, I think it ended up being 101 or something like that for a year. So it's about £8.50 for this box for me. So actually, it's a pretty good value. Um, so the products in it were the little uh, cleansing pad. Uh, we got the Paw Paw Multi-Purpose Balm. We got the lovely little serum. Uh, product we got the hair conditioner and we got the shower cleanse the body cleanser now i like all of those products they're they're all going to get used actually that's kind of unusual with birch box for me often there's a product in there that i won't use um 
so for me that's quite a successful month with them I liked two of them very much well three actually I think I mean the multi-purpose balm is great to have it will get used as is the the cleansing pad and it's quite pretty but these three I'm quite very well very pleased about actually so that's really, really quite a successful birch box month for me um as I said earlier not everybody gets exactly the same so if you did subscribe you might get slightly different things and that's one thing I don't like about boxes I think everybody should if you're paying an amount of money you should all get the same thing because if you then see someone get something else then it's not nice it's disappointing that's one of my things about boxes that I really feel quite strongly about so as to resubscribing I don't think I'll get another 12 month subscription um certainly not at whatever it was 145 pounds or something like that but I might just go and get the one month rolling subscription that I can cancel any time um, I think that's probably what I'm going to do to be honest but I do like the box I do think it's a nice one to try out it's it's um, fairly affordable and you do get to try products before you buy and if you do like something then you can buy it um, yeah I'm happy with this box so I hope you like the video I've got lots more coming so hopefully you'll return to watch those evolve because that's kind of how this one's been today it feels like an involvement I'm trying to get back i've been on holiday and it's trying to get back into the swing of thinking because my brain has been completely free for a week which is amazing and lovely but then when you get back and you have to try and think uh then it is a little bit difficult so sorry if it's been a bit of a all over the place video i think this one and the last one i did which was um i kept saying pounds instead of dollars which i watched back and i thought oh, just, i'm not doing it again it'll just have to go uh so hopefully this one's been a little little bit better and the next one will be even better once i get back into the swing of things lovely to see you i can't see you but i can imagine you have a lovely 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 day have a lovely week have a lovely month and i'll see you very soon with my next video take care